In this session, you're going to take a look at creating your own color changeable model mock-ups for your marketing and t-shirt order forms. And this is very easy to do working with auto mock-up. And really when you look at your marketing, we often see that we like to be able to present different options to clients. And being able to present those options in a photorealistic mock-up goes a long way with our marketing. We can also use these techniques for our catalogs and other marketing materials to show that we can do things with different colors and different graphics. You know, we've heard from clients all around the country that as they drop off catalogs coming from our art packs at local high schools and they've customized those catalogs with the comps and they drop them off, they get orders. So you don't always have to print the t-shirt. If you can give the client a photorealistic mock-up or a catalog with photorealistic mock-ups of designs for that organization or school, you'll find that you can get orders. Let me go ahead and zoom out here and we'll take a look at what we've got set up here in CorelDRAW on how to create this. Here I've got a t-shirt order form set up with the same model comp but with two different colors for the t-shirt. I'm going to show you how to set this up here working with this model comp. Now over here, I've got a t-shirt order form, and you can set this up and put your logo and phone number in it, demonstrating the same comp photorealistic inside of a t-shirt order form with the color options below. Now one of the other things you could do, which we've seen done, is creating the t-shirt order forms with the upselling built into it. And we've got videos on the website relating to upselling, a very powerful way to make more money with your business. If the customer asks for one color design, you set that up here, and then you put your upsell here. Say this is a one color on a white. Here you go with a three color, some distress and effects on a colored garment and tell them that the colored garment or the upsell is gonna be two or three dollars more. Put that on the order form and you'll find the customers will go for the upsell. Now, if you're printing 100 t-shirts, and you've got some set with the upsells at $3 a piece, then the ones that you print for the upsell, let's say the orders for 100 pieces and 80% take the upsell, well, you've got 80 times three, that's another 200 and some odd dollars in your order. And you're gonna print it and set it up anyway. So taking a look at this, let's take a look at how we'd set this up now. I've already vector traced this. And I'm not gonna vector trace it for the sake of the tutorial. One of the things I do want you to notice, I did vector trace the hair. Also, I did not vector trace inside of the white. I vector traced to the shading because if I'm inside the white, I'm going to get a white halo in my comps when I render them or convert them to bitmaps. If I'm tracing to this side of the shading, I'm going to get this white halo. I don't want that. So you'll notice here that where the sleeve comes in, I moved into the inside of where the skin meets the shirt so that I'm inside the shading. And it's the same thing out here around the outside. So you want to keep that in mind when you're doing your vector tracing. If you need training on vector tracing, you can go to our website, go to our video tutorials, our free Corel Draw tutorials. If you come down here to, it's quite a ways down here, there's a tutorial on Secrets of the Bezier tool that'll show you how to trace like this. And you can trace these shirts in five or 10 minutes. So you can set these model comps up in a matter of minutes and you can save them and use them over and over and over again. Now to set up my model comp, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and lasso everything here. I'm going to select all this. I'll duplicate this over here. I have my vector trace on top. I'm going to start working in my object manager here. I'm going to select my original. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that. Then I'm going to grab my curve again, which is my vector trace, copy that, and paste that. So now I've got two sets of that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle with a rectangle tool here. Left click, drag this all the way around the outside of my model, comp, original, or image. I'm going to hold down shift and select that curve. I could also do that here from the object manager. I'm going to come over here to the multiple objects property bar. I'm going to combine these. Then I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and select this original. I know the curves on the front, so I'll go to my multiple objects property bar again. I'll select back minus front. Now that just gave me a knockout of just the t-shirt. Now here I've got my t-shirt knockout in the original. So I can change this, let's say, I'll just change this to, let's say, knockout for now, just so that I know what it is. And that's going to change a lot when I do the shading anyway, but 
Sometimes when I label things, I can do that very easily. And when you're labeling, you just click one time and you can label and change the label of the objects in your object manager. That's my knockout. Here's my original curve. That's got a black outline on it. I'll change the color of that to, let's say, something like a blue here. And we'll left click and take the outline off of that just for now. And then we'll select our knockout here. And then we'll go to our advanced tools, auto mockup. And because this is white, I'm just going to click on white mockup and process that. Select OK. That's finished. Now here I've got my original that I started with. I can delete that. Just select that and hit the delete key. The color, there's nothing in the color, so it just comes out white. I can delete that. And there's my color of the blue that I created set up right there for my comp. And there's my shading set up over that. Now I can change this and just go around and right click and change it to any color I want. If I want to do a gray, I can do a gray, as you can see there. Now because I've got the shading here, if I want to do some adjustments, I can do that also. I can go to Effects, Adjust, and I can go to the Tone Curve, and I could make that shading a little bit darker. Just left click, pull down here to the right corner, or if I want to make that lighter, I could make that lighter. You know, so if you're working with, let's say, a darker color in your t-shirt color, you might want to change the shading. For example, if I'm a darker blue like this, I might want to change that shading. If I'm a light gray, I might want to make that lighter. So then I can go to Effects, Adjust. We'll make sure I got my shading selected here. Effects, Adjust, and Tone Curve. And I can make that shading a little bit lighter, as you can see there. There's also another tool that you can use here, Effects, Adjust, Contrast, Enhancement. I'll go ahead and reset that, and you'll see that you can make adjustments also, and you can just experiment with this. You can left-click up here on your input value clipping, and you can adjust that also there. Now, once we've set these up, all we need to do is get our different colors that we want to work with. For our comp, I'll go ahead and set this up. I'll get my graphic here bring that up on top of my t-shirt and duplicate there. Just resize that. Left click here from the object manager, drag that down behind my shading. As you can see, making that look realistic. Resize that just a little bit more there. I could go ahead and duplicate this here. So I've got my curve here filled with gray. Let's say we're going to go with a red. And we'll come over here and select again. Let's say we're going to go with also a blue red and blue. Let's go ahead and select these. Now at this point I can convert these to a bitmap because you can see there's kind of like a halo there but it's not really there. So I just go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, don't want transparency, that's fine. Do the same thing here. Bitmap, convert to bitmap, don't want the 300, select OK. Now you notice if I move this image over you can see that it blocks that out, but I can make it so I can put these closer to fit better in the box very easily. Because this is white, I can come over here to my transparency tools and I'll just change this to uniform and subtract and I'll slide this all the way back to zero. And I can put these right together. Now that'll work as long as you're white on white. If you end up with them next to each other, that won't work, but I just bring these a little bit closer together. Go ahead and select both of these. Right click, not left, hold down, drag over my box, release power clip inside come down here to select power clip contents I can center these up and then resize these right inside of that box there for my t-shirt order form so just a quick tutorial on how to easily set up a customizable model t-shirt mock-up that you can change the colors on or a comp and then set up you know, your order forms and marketing materials and things like that. And you could bring this to a catalog or what have you. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.